Yeah, I had someone else in not Luke tonight, but there mm. was an emergency came up at the last minute, so there's Luke again. Thank you. Appreciate it. No problem. It. Luke. Happy to help out when I can. Mm. Wasn't, uh, and I've been home tonight, so it's a lot easier to prepare myself mentally for something like this. So, Luke Spencer, everyone, um, does the uh, rock reviews and rocked on on youtube i mean and twitch and all those other things uh yeah we we were tara is uh, on her way back tonight um the flight's running late i had someone else fill in but that i get it everything exploding mhm mm i feel you run like a live you know, like you see like all those stressful news shows, like you see the control room and stuff like that, how frantic they're all running around. Yeah. You do all that by yourself. Yeah. While the camera's on you. Yeah. So, yeah. I have like, it's a unique, it's a unique visual thing trying to do that. I just, I'm glad like you you know how to like switch over to a list of music videos or something like that. Yeah. So you can scream into the void, as my wife says, while trying to figure it all out. I have, I have so many buttons. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get this. We have, of course, terrible stuff. Yeah, last week was pretty rough. So, um, I'm hoping for easier. Well, I'm not saying I'm not saying good. I'm saying easier. There is no poop. Yes, that's already a check mark. Jackpot. So, get the intro going. Jackpot. <laughs> the uh, bar is so low. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it out here. A little something we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong. Crazy. We're going to start in Muncie, Indiana. I have no idea. There are people who it just it seems almost comedic that some people don't get a concept. It seems <laughs> like it's okay. like you remember like Michael Scott on The Office and shit, right? Just oh, yeah. incredibly thick in an unbelievable way, right? There's, they're so oblivious just to life. You wonder how have you grown into an adult not being able to understand just life concepts and how people live. It, it it's so much it's got to be fictional and yet this one is she's kind of amazing i will give it to her because it's like if obliviousness was a superpower she would be in in the comics um muncie woman steals car from dealership to drive to exotic dancer interview in indianapolis this is a Grand Theft Auto mission, by the way. This has to be. But that's just... It has to be. That's yeah. just the beginning. Okay. Police claim a woman in Muncie, Indiana, didn't know what the big deal was about stealing a Kia from a car dealership in order to allow her to drive to Indianapolis for a job interview uh, to be an exotic dancer. According to do uh, court documents, 20-year-old uh, Cassia Shelton acted like this whole thing was a joke and, quote, did not understand what she was going to be arrested for. What? Police learned of the theft of the 2013 Kia Optima on Monday after an employee at RDI Motors in Muncie called the police department to report the car stolen from the lot. The employee told officers that Sheldon came to the dealership, asked to look at the Kia Optima. The employee had been preparing the car for a test drive, but said the phone oh. kept ringing. No one on the other end of the line ever answered uh the employee reportedly told shelton to wait a moment while he answered the phone yet again but shelton allegedly drove off in the kia so she's already got like a scheme going on here yeah also that employee you know he's getting the most crap that week week at work yeah every other salesman and mechanic they're just ripping him so oh, yeah. hard now oh yeah oh it's brutal brutal Court documents reveal that Shelton admitted to stealing the car. However, police informed her they knew who she was and what she had done. Uh, yeah. 
Sandra reportedly told police she stole the Kia in order to drive to Indianapolis for an exotic dancer job interview. She didn't understand what the big deal was, however, since she returned the vehicle later. Shelton returned the vehicle by dropping it off in the Muncie Mall's parking lot, located next door to Arnie Motors, and leaving the keys in the Kia. The stolen Kia ended up being recovered in Anderson, however, according to an RDI Motors employee. So after she dropped it off and returned yeah. it, she left That's... the keys in it. Like, wait, you couldn't even, like, you intended to return it, but not at the place you stole it from. What? When she please ask Shelton what happened to the car after she left it at the mall, mall parking lot, Shelton reportedly, quote, just kept saying that she saw it on some bitch's Snapchat. <laughs> this court hearing is going to be fantastic. According to, the investi- Man. according to the investigator interviewed Shelton, Shelton, quote, did not understand what she was going to be arrested for since she did not oh. have the vehicle any longer. <laughs> Your Honor, my employee can clearly not be caught with a hand in the cookie jar if her hands are no longer in the cookie jar. You have no evidence. Case closed. This, what? <laughs> this is like they accidentally invented rideshare all all. <laughs> Except they didn't ask anybody. Right. And also, they just took such liberty with a test drive that they thought, oh, I could just run my errands. That counts as a test, right? No. Especially if you're going to another city and, and you take it without permission. Again, I, still, I do still feel bad for that employee. You know he is getting the most crap for so long after that. A Ugh. 2013 Kia. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Ugh. Oh, good God. Again, of all cars to steal, too, like just a 2013 Kia just laying there. Also, again, I go back to what I said originally. This is a Grand Theft Auto mission. Well, you get a you get a job at the strip club, but you better hurry up. Yeah, there's a timer going. Ugh. I mean, is it what's the blue book on a 2013 Kia? Ooh, not good. There you I, go. Like it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't say mileage on here either. There's no way it's under a certain like it's under 50. There's right. just no way. I I not a chance. Right. So, so I mean, depending on that, maybe she's like, this could be a misdemeanor. <laughs> yeah, it's it's true. Like if that was a new Kia she took, that'd be a huge hassle because they can no longer list it as new anymore when they sell it. Big loss, tons of stuff. Use 2013 Kia. They put it back on the lot, make sure it's washed, and it's, it's really no one's going to know. So, all things considered, it could have gotten much worse for the dealer. Much, honestly, much worse. Honestly, if it were me, I, I would kind of do, like, as seen on, you know? Yeah. And put, like, yeah, this is the one the stripper stole. You yeah. want this one. This is the good car. Steal this one. Yep. <laughs> And you can see her up in Indianapolis in Shakey's about to death, uh, this Saturday at 7 o'clock. Ugh. All right. Well, let's move from one stupid car shit to another. We're over to Florida for this one. This, the excuse given for this one is the one that makes, sit, that makes me sit here and go, you really thought that was going to work? I mean, is this a is is this a Florida logic excuse? The no, this is the fucking audacity, the okay. audacity of this lady. Woman arrested after wrapping car to look like a Florida state trooper. Yeah, they don't like that. Woman had a Dodge Charger dressed up to look the part of a Florida state trooper. It was really a car from a security company, which is even worse. Ah. Uh. Businesswoman in Florida learned the hard way on Tuesday the state troopers really don't like when civilians impersonate one of their own. Weird ordeal started Neat. in Northwest Miami Dade on October 10th. Two Florida Highway Patrol officers reported seeing a Dodge Charger driving in the opposite direction. The Charger looked the part. It was painted the same uh, black and bronze paint scheme as Florida Trooper Patrol cars. They even had a light bar. But the officers noticed the decals were uh, on the side were wrong. They read FSO Guard with a badge made to look like a police shield. Troopers quickly turned around, caught up with the charger, and pulled it over. When they questioned the driver, identified as 28-year-old uh, Yulia uh, Puk- Puk- 
Pugachev? Sure. Pugachev? Yeah, uh, yeah. Pugachev sounds right. Leah yeah. Pugachev. Um, they found out uh, what was really going on. Get out! I just looked at the excuse. Okay. She just <laughs> liked how the color looked. That's all. That's all. All those other emblems. I didn't even notice them. It's just the color. That khaki and black. Get out of here. <laughs> when questioned, troopers say the Hollywood woman first set her vehicle, already had the trooper color scheme when she purchased it from a car auction, but after troopers told her that the Florida Highway Patrol doesn't sell any of its used units, she said she had her North Miami-based security company vehicle wrapped in black and tan because she had seen their patrol units and, quote, fell in love with the color scheme. She also, <laughs> had, Go she, ahead. she also had the blue and white light bar installed on her car's roof. Pugachev was arrested, of course, security company or not. You can't roll around giving people the impression you're a law enforcement officer on the prowl. Correct. Yeah. I'm looking at the Instagram post, like the actual picture they call, of the car they pulled over. Yeah. The Dodge, the Dodge Chargers you get, like you get from the dealer. First of all, Dodge Chargers is a really nice car. Why are you doing that to it if it's not an actual cop well, car? Well, she's it's a she's she runs a security company, is the and thing. that's fine. But you putting FSO guard and the badge and stuff and the light bar. Yeah, she's trying to Man. give people the impression that it's like official. But it's not. This is a mall. This is a mall cop to such an extreme level that it permeated the rest of their life. Like well, mall cop after the mall. Like no, well, no everyone this must is, know. This is their one. I, this is a fake it till you make it, which is not how that works. This is this no, is it's not, not. You can't. Also, uh, I mean, go ahead, you, go ahead. You can fake it till you make it. You can pretend like you're you're on top when you're not. You just can't. You know, crime. That's it's crime. I I got to stress the point. Crime. Yeah. It's no longer faking it at that point, too. And also, I can't imagine how long she went around with that car until she got pulled over. Because number one, screw the police. Two, Florida police have always had their hands full, whether you like them or not. Yeah, Miami police especially. She's pulling this in Miami. Yikes. Well, we've got even more shenanigans with cop cars in Milwaukee. Uh, All over the place. Oh, uh, let's see here. Man takes off in Milwaukee police car during traffic stop. That thumbnail image of the article you sent me alone is fantastic. Yeah, that guy right there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's like, you know, he's got that Stephen King just on the cusp of cocaine, 1983. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Um, like he's been up all night doing a lot of stuff yeah. he shouldn't have been, and he's trying to figure out what the next move is. Uh in December 2022, Milwaukee police officers were making a traffic stop near Holton and Kefe. Uh Keith, is it Keith or Kefe? I think it's I think it's Keith. Uh, Milwaukee police officers making a traffic stop near Holton and Keith, and you heard a door slam on the police dash cam video. You see the squad car drive right by an officer. Seconds later, you could hear laughter from inside the cruiser and a call uh, for backup over the radio. Oh, full joy ride at this point. Quote, he's, he's going for it. Looks like somebody just stole my vehicle, you hear an officer say. The dispatcher replies, okay, did you say your vehicle? which the officer replies, affirmative, vehicle 106. <laughs> the squad car, the driver runs a stop sign, passes a car on the street, and drives fast over a speed bump. After about one minute, the man gets out of the police car and runs off. Video obtained what? by a 12 News seat officer with his gun uh, out in an alley. As the officer approached a trash can, a man pops out. Months later, investigators say, he stole another police vehicle. His name's Daniel Barton. <laughs> this time in Shorewood, May 2023, Barton is being accused of stealing a cruiser during a traffic stop before being arrested about 10 minutes later. In both cases, Milwaukee County Court found Barton competent to stand trial, facing misdemeanor charges in both cases. So whenever the cops pull him over, he's like, I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I was going to say this. 
this is a subconscious addiction at this point. I'm Whenever he sees you, he's like a pyromaniac. When he sees a lighter, he just has to. And he's like, oh, oh, uh, I have to. Ah, ah, ah. It just goes for it. <laughs> and then also, so it's the laughter he, while he's in the car yeah. that kills me. I got it! This he's doing that giggling shit. Yes. Like, <laughs> you know, he's, he's, you know, he's doing that shit. And also, correct me if I understood this right, he then pulled an Oscar the Grouch and popped out of the, gar the trash the can garbage yeah. can when yeah. approached. Yeah. Okay, so... Might give up! A, yeah. <laughs> so, Bar so trash can Barton, stealing cop cars all throughout Milwaukee, have it just racking them up. Oh, there goes trash can Barton again. I told you not to leave the keys in. The beautiful uh, thing about this is he didn't speed off and run away with them. He was just like, okay, you're going to pull my ass over? Great. I am going to give you so much paperwork. Yep. You are <laughs> going to see daylight for a week. You're going to remember trash can Barton, officer. Oh, oh you got me to run at a stop sign? You're going to have to explain to your boss how the fuck I got your car. Correct. Yeah. I win. Yeah. God. Oh. And, and, and it's all on dash cam, too. It's all on recorded. And he did it a second time. That's recorded. I, this is presumptuous of me. I can't imagine the man is going to stop it, too. I just can't see that. It's a misdemeanor, so. Exactly. I know. He's going to go for a hat trick. There's <laughs> nothing to stop him. There's no way. Not a chance. Okay, so where you are, do you have Hardee's or Carl Jr.? Hardee's over here. Okay. Have yeah. you been near the Carl Jr.'s before? I don't know. I've had, oh yeah, I've had Carl's Jr. when I lived out west. Yeah, I've had Carl's Jr. Okay, don't do that. I agree. It's, the, if you are, are familiar with either of these franchises, which are actually the same franchise, it's complicated. They are. If, yeah. if you're familiar with them, don't do that. No. And if, if you want to know why, well, aside from the food, um, this might happen. And these fucking idiots. I think it's been a good 10 years since I've had Hardee's or Carl Jr., so I don't mind seeing this. I kind of it is. I kind of love this because this is like a Brady's bunch of uh of mugshots wow! down there. Right. Check that out. Yeah. That's that'll be that's how they all became the Hardee's bunch. Yep, that's right. Hardee's employees charged for using customers' card numbers to bail inmates out of jail. They were copying numbers, like, at the drive-thru just to, and keeping them? Yep. <laughs> a group of Hardee's employees, along with others, have been charged after police uncovered a scheme in which money taken from customers' credit slash debit card numbers were used to ma bail out jail inmates. LaPorte County Sheriff's Office says last month, LaPorte County Jail Commander Captain Andrew Hahn, along with other members of the jail administration, noticed suspicious irregularities of funds on some inmates' accounts. Police say large sums of money were being placed uh, after the inmates uh, onto the inmates' communication system called Securus, accounts from a source outside the jail. They say the same inmates were bonding out of the jail almost immediately and leaving with the remaining balance on a jail-issued debit card. As this activity continued to occur, Securus counts were closely monitored. Police say in August and September, a few Hardee's employees photographed credit-slash-debit card numbers of customers that purchased food at the drive through window. The card numbers were then fraudulently used by placing money into inmates' accounts with low bond amounts. Police say the inmates were bonding out almost immediately using fraudulent funds on their Securus account, inmates were released with the balance on a jail-issued debit card. So what they, these people, they thought they was being slick. What they were doing, they, somebody would be locked up for like a low, just a low level, they could bail them out. And they're like, okay, yeah. we're going to bail you out, and in exchange, you give us this money back. So they were laundering the money through the jail payout system. There's a black box. There's a black market bail bond system going on at Hardee's. That that's fucking so stupid. That's what because it's like I wonder. These guys keep getting bailed out. They have large amounts. 
I wonder what they all have in common. This is not even in what half a day of uh, detective work. And also, I was just thinking this out like there's all the whole thing about the paper trail. This is the easiest digital chain and trail of receipts that you can easily link up to. On top of that, you're taking pictures on your own cell phone of people's debit and credit cards that there's easily going to be references to in the cloud and on your. Oh, I bet they had that on Google Cloud, like on iPhone, Apple Cloud. Oh. Brought also, to you I by Carl's say, Jr. I know, right? Also, I just want to say, scrolling back up at the grid of these nine. I don't know which one are actual Hardy's employees or which ones are just um, people getting bailed out fraudulently. That Hardy staff is looking rough. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, then not just that, that, that entire. Is that's the whole Hardy's. That's everybody that works. That Hardy's Nine. is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That Hardy's only has a manager now, and that's it. It's just they're, one guy. One guy. That's it. They are closed for business until this all gets <laughs> taken care of. What kind of weird racket is this, though? What was the end game on this? I don't. They th well, they thought, hey, we're going to get the money back from the, the inmates. We're just going to wander it and no one's going to. It'll be untraceable. It'll be, you know, it's like they watched the bit with uh, on Breaking Bad when Saul tried to explain money laundering. Yes. But then they left the room halfway through to go get <laughs> popcorn. It's the South Park bit. Step one, bail people out of jail with other customers' credit cards. Step two, nothing. Step three, profit. Ugh, no. Just, I, I mean, some of these, I, I scroll down on some of these too. These are felonies. These are not like just slap on the wrist nope. stuffs also. Yep. So these are legit felonies they're all associated with now. Well, uh, fraud and yeah because it was a criminal organized activity they yeah they, they formed a little gang boy organized is the nicest way to describe what they're doing but yeah that is absolutely what it is the hardy's gang the deep fryer posse and do, uh, you, do you know how much they're going to jail over oh i don't less than 15 grand less than 15 fucking grand Man, if my ass is going to jail, I better be at least breaking six figures. At least. Nine people. And that's what they're doing. Yep. I, when, the, when the better logic is to just yep. spend your entire paycheck on scratchers tickets and hope you get yep. enough money to bail people out, that still is a better plan than whatever this... Hey, uh, you're taking a little while with my car. Can I have it back now? You didn't give it to me yet. Yeah, I, I thank you for the burger. Actually, this is gross. Give me my car, ma'am, ma'am. All through the <laughs> drive through window every day. Every day. Oh, uh, uh. Also, jail issued debit cards. I'm pretty sure those are tracked. Pretty Just sure. Little, little, yeah. I'm pretty sure they look at those all the time, actually. Oh. Uh. Everything about this is a disaster. Speaking of everything about this is a disaster, we got an even better one for the next one. Um, Ugh. This fucking guy. I, I think this is the most elaborate and broken. Like, oh, son, you need therapy. Except you're not a son. You're 65 years old. Ooh. Bad grandpa. Bad wealthy grandpa. Um, Michael Arnold, 65, is accused of stalking New York woman from his light aircraft after four years and pelting her home with tomatoes from above. That is there, some... There he is. There's, there's so... <laughs> he remembered an episode of Dennis the Menace? And said, you know what? Going for it. A New Hampshire man has been arrested for allegedly using a small propeller airplane to stalk a woman in New York from the air for four years and pelting her home with tomatoes from above. Michael Arnold, 65, was charged with aggravated stalking, impeding and providing false information to a police officer after, quote, terrorizing Cassie uh, Willis. Yeah, Cassie Willis from the Sky since 2019. Arnold fly a single engine Cessna 180 out uh, to allegedly stalk the victim's New York home. 
Willis, who lives in uh, Schenectady, said about the ordeal, he's terrorizing us. He flies so close to the house, it feels like he's going to go through it. Accused him of waking up, waking up her family at 7 a.m. three times a week. Sound of the aircraft over the house. Uh, her roof, windows, and doors would rattle from the flybys. He previously posted his $5,000 bond and was ordered not to go within 300 feet of his plane. However, an FBI agent in Albany reported Arnold was keeping his plane in the Bennington Airport. He served with a temporary restraining order in the summer. But Willis reported seeing Arnold flying over her home on September 28th. She called police, the FBI, and the FAA found the airplane in Bennington. Officers were able to determine that Arnold was, in fact, flying his airplane. He was last seen flying west through New York several days earlier. Arnold denied he was flying the plane, but refused to say who the pilot was. Arnold said, I might be able to, but I don't want to throw anybody in, uh, under the bus. If they don't want to get involved, I can't get them involved. Man legend also stalked Willis from the ground. You are going to have the worst time explaining yourself in jail, sir. The worst time. You are 65 motherfucking years old, right? You've been on this planet for almost seven decades. You can when you afford... Were 60, and when you were 61, you decided, time to get to work. You, what? You can afford your own private fucking airplane. Which you can, no, apparently you can store with rental, you can fuel it, you can take the lessons to fly it. That's not an inconsiderate amount of money. All right, that, no. that's, that, that, that's not a small amount. That's, that's a, that's, that's, it's a big money for, it's a fucking airplane. Licensing and piloting fees and all that shit. And what do you do with it? You pick a woman and you make her miserable. By dropping tomatoes on her house? And buzzing the house and scaring the crap out of people. And, and, after you're already in fucking trouble for it, they know you done did it. Yeah. They watch and you're like, I'm gonna do it again. And then you tried to do, wasn't me. Really? Like, that shit works in Among Us. It doesn't work with, with like, if they can track your ass. I see a picture of the plane, like there's like a screenshot of video or like a ring court, whatever yeah. it is. Those those propeller planes are super are very expensive. They hold two people max two people. if you're lucky. If you're lucky. Why are you saying, well, I might have had someone fly in me, but I don't want to put them under the bus? What? You're already caught. Knock it off first. Or also, yeah. only five thousand dollars bond to get out after something like that that could have caused extreme damage. Well, he I don't think <laughs> I don't think he's going to bond out again because goddamn. No, I see that's obs that's obscene at that point. When you do shit like this, you kind of piss off law enforcement and the judges and they don't like. It. They don't like. It. Also, yeah, also, I can't imagine like there are I know state by state, it sometimes matters. I know there are different flight authorities and like different people like that. They don't like when pilots do stuff like that and they can kind of blacklist people in the agency and also from flying in certain areas and airspaces, you're not getting cleared to take off anytime soon, sir. The fucking, what the, the fucking tomatoes? What, did, what the fuck? What did this, what did this woman do probably, that warranted, it had, did it have something to do with tomato? No, probably Is just said it? no to him. That's all I can figure. I, I see the woman with the dog and I just feel bad for her and the yeah. dog. And I just, while we were all hunkered down in pandemic, wondering what was going to happen the next month and the month after, this guy was dropping tomatoes from air, yeah. the air. Yeah. Dumb motherfucker. What? <laughs> we have one. Okay. Like I, uh, go Th move this on. One is, uh, uh. This one makes me sad. I, 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 this, I. You have an essence fallen. <laughs> All right, I want to make clear there is not anything wrong with some of this. But there is something wrong with the other part. So, we're not judging, but we are judging. It's it's you'll you'll it's this motherfucker. Worker burgled sex worker worker burgled home for sex doll. That's a hard headline to, to word. I agree. Yeah. 
Item what? found in Omaha residence of individual who had just died. Oh. Yeah. Here we go. Funeral home worker responsible for transporting dead bodies in a Nebraska county is suspected of having an intimate encounter with a life-size sex doll he found in the apartment of a deceased person. That's good what to say. a terrible obituary. Ryan oh. Smith, 41, and a colleague were dispatched last week to a home at the Rock Creek Apartments in Omaha to collect the body of an individual who died there. Uh, near the body on the bed was a very real life-size sex doll, an investigator reported. Police allege that Smith subsequently called the property manager and claimed that the local sheriff had asked him to remove the sex doll to, quote, collect swabs for biopsy. Smith's, quote, strange request was denied by the manager, who later returned to the apartment to discover that Smith was inside the unit, which had been locked with a deadbolt and chain, after Smith exited the home with his shirt untucked and his pants in, quote, disarray. Oh, the man. property oh. manager called cops later busted Smith on a felony burglary charge. Post-arrest examination revealed the sex doll to be, quote, no, 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 oh, oh, oh. To be, quote, sticky. And it appeared that, quote, something had rubbed her inner thighs. A deputy collected the sex doll, quote, so that I could have her processed for DNA. It's... It, it, I hope whoever had to write this article had to go home and take a vacation for a week to the coldest of showers just to write all that out. Now, you see, there is nothing wrong with anyone purchasing legally available, doesn't hurt nobody sex toys. You want to do that? Have a ball. It's welcome to America. It's beautiful. It's freedom. Love it. You can do no that. No one is mocking the deceased person in any yeah. way. That's not the case because here. Not at all. You can do in the privacy room. You ain't hurting nobody. And everybody's consent. Have fun. That's a great thing about being a grown up with consent. Wonderful. Great. The problem here is. You don't go to the dead guy's house. And fuck the dead guy's sex doll. That's weird, man. There's, there's so much weird. Uh, there's so much, like, so many layers to this. If ever you went to someone's house, dead or alive, and saw their sex doll, would your first thoughts to be, ooh, yeah, I'd like to try that out right now? No. No. no you wouldn't even a... want to be, no. No. Would you want to even touch it? Would you want to touch someone else's sex doll? Man, I wouldn't even no. want to touch somebody else's no. fucking toothbrush. No, exactly. I have, exactly. I, my girlfriend, we have toothbrushes. They look very similar. I'd be very careful. I don't pick hers up. It's a toothbrush. This I wouldn't fucking do. This is a thousand times worse that you could get sick from. And this guy just went full overboard and said, ooh, perk to the job. All right. And, and I what? like, he's like, he's like, well, the, the cops want me to take it for evidence and why really? would you call your boss on that? Why would you call and make a point of it? Why? Why? Yeah, you won't. Now that you've already drawn attention, the property manager's like, well, you've already drawn attention to yourself. You lost. Okay. Yeah. But no, no, you went back and you're like, well, if I can't do it at home, I'll just have to eat at the diner. Ugh. The fuck, Ugh. man? I... And, and the fact that they had someone had to actually go there, who knows how long he was with, who knows how long he was there with the doll. And it was, uh, uh you uh. know, what's even worse. One of the things about this show is these stories will follow your ass around forever. That's how the internet works. Oh yeah. This forever. guy's not living this out. Yeah. But his name is Ryan Smith. Correct. How many Ryan Smiths do you think are in the world? Quite a few. Just in the country. Quite a few. So now, anytime somebody searches for a Ryan Smith. Yeah. This is going to pop up. And if it doesn't have a picture attached. I guess what picture is going to pop up first? Yeah. Either the right. mugshot or the sex doll. Yeah. 
So you this We're, guy this guy is a multi multi layered motherfucker. Yeah. Just man, just, there's so many like levels of brain at uh, brain activity. I want to understand the thought process of, but it all just sandwiched together for this terrible activity. I I in his logic too. Did he think he was just gonna get away? I I don't know. The whole calling your boss or calling in and saying. Oh, they want me to swab this sex doll here. That is so weird. No, no, no. It's they said they, 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 he too. told he told the property manager that he had to take the it away. Manager, for, yes, he had to take it away for evidence. He was going to steal it. He was going to take it home with him. Why on earth would anyone think that you would have to take that with you if you're not a police officer? And even then, I'm pretty sure they would leave it there. Like, you know, do the chalk outline and not touch it unless they have the hazmat suit on. He was trying, he was trying to bluff his way out of this motherfucker. This is like, it's like that modern day shit. Like you watch all the old cartoons when like a caveman would bonk a woman over the head and drag her home. He was trying to do that shit. Down the steps and down the street to his car. Can just dragged by the ankles. Can you just <laughs> imagine? Yeah, no, I can. He wrap this thing up in like, in like a rug or some shit. And try to carry it back to his car and like people watching out the like what the heck? Hey, hey, what that Joe old Joe's apartment? What the heck's he doing with that thing? Oh, uh, just the 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 they the layers. It's like a seven layer dip of uh, I know. And also the, like not the last paragraph, but above that. The post arrest examination revealing this of, of the sex doll, the physical the physical state of the sex doll that had to be reported. Yeah. Goodness. Yeah. Goodness, sir. And that 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 mugshot just goes, yep, I did peak in life. <laughs> That's right. Long time ago, too. Here I am. What what do you even say? What what do you even say to the person after this? Because this guy's getting a, this guy's getting a court court appointed attorney. He does not scream, I have a personal lawyer on retainer. No, he does not. How do you defend that? Any of it. Any of it. Thanksgiving's gonna be weird. So, Mom and Dad, I, I do appreciate <laughs> the $5,000 loan. Um, time to come clean about what I needed it for. Hello, Go ahead, Dad. Google. I'm in jail. <laughs> well, I like it easy. here. It's nice. The good news is I do now finally have a girlfriend. <laughs> Bad news is you just Google my name, Ryan Smith, and you'll see my girlfriend. Like we oh. talk about you have brought dishonor to your house. Oh, yeah. Motherfucker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you brought dishonor to that guy's house, too. And he's dead. <laughs> he's already dead. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. So. What did we learn this week? We learned that things like toothbrushes and underwear and other people's sex dolls are not for you to be touching. Just don't just, ever touch anything that people share, might have any bio don't on. Don't share those. It, it's not, yeah, it's you not, never, never. Just, That's a little kid lesson, too. That's just, something you just, learn in, like, kindergarten. Just, like, don't eat dirt. Um... <laughs> We can be, we learn you can reach 65 years old and have yeah. uh, your own plane and the time to fly it and all. And you, you could still be a raging goddamn asshole. Yeah. And like a really weird one too, carrying loads of tomatoes with you on your propeller Man, plane. If I, what had, if I had the money for a plane and the free time, oh, and just, it, I'd be it, flying it, the fucking plane. I'd be happy to be flying the fucking plane. If just you, if you or I had half the plane money, how much our lives would be changed? Like truly changed for the better. We would not be these Hanna Barbera cartoon villains. No. This guy is. This Ugh. is this is seriously this is seriously like wacky races shit. He's pulling. That's right it's exactly what it is. Like this is the guy trying to just wreck cars on wacky races through tomatoes. That's it. We've learned: do not eat at Hardee's or Carl. Well, just don't already. don't eat at Hardee's. Bad things happen when you eat at Hardee's, and we're not just talking about the bathroom. Um, and if you have to, pay with cash. We have learned this week that if the cops are going to pull you over, there is a way to make them pay for it. <laughs> but you just might, you, you, you might not want to go there. <laughs> uh, uh, we have learned that um, telling the cops you just 
you copied the way their cruiser looked just because you thought it was nice. That's not going to fly. It's not. It's not adorable. It's not a yeah. sweet gesture. It's not. Ugh. And finally, just because when you steal the car, you bring it back, that doesn't make you squaresies. And it especially uh, does it if somebody else steals the car from you. Yeah. Like True. this, just the, the, the sheer audacity be like, I don't know why this is happening. I don't have a car no more. I hope you got that job. I hope that job's worth it too. I really do. do they, I really do. Like, did, did something happen in school that they don't teach them right no more? I don't know, because even that, that sounds like a... <laughs> If they were homeschooled in a cave without any police or any type of legal system thing, maybe. Right. Otherwise, no. That's just such a weird, it's like, what? I brought it back. Isn't like, that how this works? It's, it's, it's like a library. I just take whatever I want, bring it back when I'm done. The legacy of lead pipes is long and sustaining. 